the British Virgin Islands, a secluded paradise between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. And I'm right here on a 140 acre property that was acquired in the 90s. It housed a popular resort and marina, which were unfortunately destroyed in the 2017 hurricane. Now we've taken it upon ourselves to rebuild everything, a challenging but rewarding project, which I'll be sharing with you. But for now, welcome to my home. Six thirty a.m. Today we are taking the ferry and going to Tortola, which is the capital of the British Virgin Islands. It's really the definition of big city life here. There's everything from banks to offices to huge supermarkets, shops, basically everything that you would need. It's quite a journey there, but we have so many errands to run and just things that keep getting added onto the list of things that we need that we just decided to take the day and do it. Tyson's coming with me, so let's get the day started. Yeah. Yes, you are. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. Come on. Come on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go, beautiful boy. Come on. On we go. No, not that one. This one. Not that one, my boy. The other one. The next one. The journey starts with a short boat ride to get our car, which we'll use in Tortola. So, let's take the ferry. It takes an hour and the view isn't too bad either. Welcome to Tortola. A short drive through the scenic mountains led us to the colorful streets of the island center. First stop is gonna be a big grocery store. This is a real supermarket where there is everything and it's huge. So I've got a thousand dollars in cash to spend. I really don't think it's gonna be that much, but you never know here. I'm thinking of buying a lot to the point where I won't have to go grocery shopping again for the next month. proceed of my life and most money I've ever spent in my life on groceries as well. In Europe I could have probably gotten all of that for $250-$300, definitely not $800, so that just goes to show how expensive things are around here. Although I did get enough for the next six weeks, so I probably won't have to return uh, for at least another month, which is good. But still, I am in absolute shock. My wallet took a toll, as did my pride. To soften the blow, I've come to lunch at Capriccio di Mare, which is an Italian restaurant on one of the main roads in Tortola. Well, now we're driving to the dock, but we decided to split up and half of us are gonna go on a boat back to our property. So all the groceries are probably gonna come with us. And then the other half are gonna take the car back on the ferry. I think this is gonna work out better for me because there's a lot of things that I don't want left out in the heat. So they can be put straight into the fridge in about an hour's time. But before going back home, Tyson requested a stop at the pet store. And when it comes to Tyson, I have a hard time saying no. The logistics of getting around in the BBI. Obviously everything is by boat and all the groceries were in our car. The boat is over on that side. So in order to get everything over in one go, we've had to use a trolley. We broke the trolley. I'm literally holding it up with my leg right now. There's so much weight on it, it couldn't handle my shopping spree at the, at the supermarket. Trolley fixed and good to go. But now we need to get everything on the boat. This is my definition of island workout. In classic island fashion, it rained all over the groceries 10 minutes after we left sunny Tortola. 
But soon enough, the rain passed and we finally arrived home. Except now, we had to unload everything. So I have just unpacked all the groceries and I'm exhausted. I think this is a good representation of the price that you pay for living in paradise, basically. It's just the logistical nightmares of getting the simplest things done. If you think about it, those groceries went from the shopping aisle into the cart, from the cart to the cashing register, from the cashing register back into the cart, from there they went into a car, from the car they went into the wheelbarrow, from the wheelbarrow they went onto a boat, from the boat they got onto a golf cart, and then from the golf cart they finally made it to my kitchen. It's a long, long journey and it probably explains why I'm willing to spend so much money in one go just to ensure that I really don't have to think about it again for at least another month. Plus, we've got friends coming later this week and I want them to feel at home and have everything they need. So far for me, the benefits of island life outweigh the logistical nightmares of stuff like that and the stress that comes with it and, you know, the time and effort that comes with it. But check back in a few months because that might change. So I think that's it for today because I think I'm just gonna pass out and sleep really early. But thank you so much for watching yet another day of my island adventures and check back tomorrow.